Good afternoon, Abbotsford. I'm David Pellick and I'm running for your mayor. I've been kept out of the debates and out of the Abbotsford newspaper. This way, Ross Siemens getting the 16,000 votes for the Chamber of Commerce only has to debate Manji Sohi and he'll beat him. Ross Siemens is going to beat him no matter what. I'm here today out in the Fraser Valley on the dikes. And what I'm about to tell you is the floods. Here, we've had the hottest dry weather in Abbotsford's history this year. We've had nothing but solid dry weather. That would allow our engineers and work crews to do the maintenance they did needed to do on these dikes to reinforce them. Now with the weather coming to an end, we'll be stuck with the rain, the heavy snowpack, all coming in for Abbotsford. So Abbotsford farmers got to do two things, cross their fingers and cross their legs, knowing that the dikes should have had maintenance on in this hot weather. We had no maintenance done. Braun in his construction and it, city councillors in Henry's house was all about Henry Braun in city councillors. The farmers have to wonder, with the big rainfalls that are coming, these dikes didn't have enough maintenance. Will they hold the water back as it rises again to the Fraser and over the Vetter? This should have been done. Maintenance should have been done with this hot, dry weather, and it hasn't been done. And we have a city councillor that wants to run for mayor, Ross Siemens, taking his contaminated soil from his gas station over the mission, not disposing of a property. We have a city councillor that's all day long at his gas station and not campaigning. How do you get in as mayor with not campaigning? Let me tell you how. Marcus Dalvis is running Dave Sudu, Ross Siemens, and he ran Abbotsford first. And the Chamber of Commerce giving him the 16,000 votes. Because of the Chamber of Commerce and Abbotsford newspaper, mostly the Chamber of Commerce, telling me what to do and how to direct myself or what to say. They didn't want me to mention stuff like this, so I wasn't allowed in the debates at the Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce is driven that they run Abbotsford, not Abbotsford residents. The Chamber of Commerce needs to be dismantled, and the members that were with the Chamber of Commerce know that we, have a, we live in a democratic society. And that should have never took place. This. This newspaper should have never did this. They should have never, ever held anybody out. They did the same thing to Eric Nival and to Bruce Bamman. That is how I knew it was coming thanks to Darren Brown. When Eric Nival ran, Henry Brown had bylaw picking up his signs and sabotaging him each and every way so Henry could stay in. When Bruce Bamman ran, Henry had bylaw picking up all Bruce Bamman's signs when he was running for city council and leaving everybody else's. But I'm here. I want you to have a look in the Fraser Valley Flats. These farmers got no help because of the leadership. They got no help because city council and Abbotsford newspaper should be writing this story, pushing down that this hot weather should have been number one for contractors and everybody to service these dikes and make them ready for the big storms that came. And they're not. I'm live out in the valley here.